Hello? Hello? Testing, testing, testing. Can your lights on? Testing, light? testing. Testing, 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 testing. Hello? Hello? I guess that's doing it. Here we go, Dave. Hello? 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 Yours would be too loud if I'm right. Hello? Hello? Testing. Can anybody hear it? I don't even know if this is doing it. Hello? 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 Test. Hello? Hello? I don't know. Just ask, did you rate up across the street? And then I can tell you. I don't, I mean, if you're in front of it, you can tell if anything's coming out. Hello? Test, testing, 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 testing. Can you hear it at all? Yes. Hello? Yes. It's okay. a little low. It's a, the music's louder than the mic. Yeah. Which is, I don't know. Hello? Okay.
great. No, 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 go over there.
I guess that guy's just not going to stop where he's done, huh? Yeah. Got a job to do.
Bye. <laughs> 
with anti-nature. Yeah. Welcome to Porch Fest 2024. We're Sonic Sandbox. It's good to see you guys here. It's not so much fun to compete with uh, lawn equipment, but it does provide a kind of ambient sound that uh, we can play with a little bit. There's, can you read? Is that yes, I'm good. Okay. All right. Um, we are all improvisation, all the time. We have no idea what we're going to do. And it all depends on what's happening around us. Um, we have an eclectic set of instrumentation. Sometimes electric. electric. Sometimes it's electric. Are you struggling? I think we're OK. OK, good. Um, the banana has to be placed exactly in the right place, yeah. or else it's not going to work. Um, so uh, what I would like to do, and something that we often do, is we go around e giving each of us a chance to solo. And the idea here is that people play what they're feeling, like trying to say something, say something that they're, um, that's coming from their heart or from their experience. And someone starts, and they play, and then pass it off to the next person. And we'll do that, giving each of us a chance to, to, uh, to, to play. Listen to it, or I hope that you will listen to it, as, as hearing from each of us about what's going on with us right now. And um, at the end, after each of us has had a chance, we'll start all playing together. And that'll emerge out of what has happened. Is everything OK over here? Yes, everything's good. OK. Sorry. All right. <laughs> um, I'm going to ask Bob to start, and I think we'll just go along this way. Cool. Thank you. 
problem with improvisation and you not knowing what's going to happen is there are three problems. One problem is long hair. How do you start? We kind of know how to start because we have a bunch of games that we use to start with. And if you were here at the beginning, well, uh, there was a pseudo beginning and then there was a, a more of a beginning and we're making it up, as I said, as we go along. But um, we did that game where each of us got a chance to uh, play solo, and that's one way that we start. Sometimes I'll just ask people, George, start something. Start something. Sometimes I'll ask two people to work together, or even three people. Sometimes I'll say, let's do just trios, but it's rotating trios. That's a really hard game to play, because um, people have to drop out and other people have to come in and it's normally with all these games everything falls apart and we just improvise after a while and see what happens but starting is one of the problems second problem is making changes in the middle and that's when we kind of get bored with what's going on and we want to do something different how does that happen uh, some mysteries I don't think I can explain <laughs> So you'll just have to watch that one and see. And the third problem is how do we end? And uh, sometimes, a lot of times, someone wants to keep going when other people want to end. And we just keep going until <laughs> we all somehow get to the point where we've all decided in our brains that we're and all ready to end that particular piece. These are the problems we face. Um, you're hearing some of the solution. We play every Tuesday night in my house. Mostly this is for us. It's just, I call it practice. We're just having fun. It's a bit of meditation. It's a bit of interaction. It's maybe some of the other people will talk about what it's like for them um, if you have ideas. What, do you, you want to say anything, Bob? No, not really. I mean, we can, uh, I mean, sometimes we use voice. We often use voice. Uh, and that's uh, usually gibberish of some sort. Uh, well, if we speak in gibberish back and forth, <laughs> sometimes, it's just like speaking with, mu with instruments back and forth, we yeah. talk to each other back and forth, argue sometimes. Yep. C. 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 C.
saying that he thought that it was an effect from the yeah. <laughs> synthesizer it's great. here. It's great. And that, we, we don't often play outside once a year, I guess. Um, and that's the kind of thing that happens. <laughs> All right, I'm going to challenge us. All right. So I talked a little bit earlier about um, having three people play at a time, but it's a rotating three. And uh, what the way we do that is one person starts, the second person comes in, then the third person, then the fourth person waits until the first person drops out. This takes a lot of discipline that we don't have. <laughs> um, but we try. Um, so when someone drops out, then the next person comes in, when the next person drops out, the next person comes in, and we will try. I swear to you, we are going to try to do this. Um, but we'll see what happens, because um, the best laid plans in improvisation never, ever happen. I'm going to ask George to start. We'll go around this way, and we'll see what happens.
how things changed as depending upon who was playing but that's kind of a cool thing for me is 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 seeing how the music changes as as different people are listening to each other and playing with each other um Steve oh so <clears throat> We have George Dragons on guitar here. That's me. Have you yes. seen my sunglasses? <laughs> I put on the chain. George, do you want to say a, a word about what your philosophy of music and improvisation is? Oh, uh, sure. I mean, uh, well, at this point, I've been doing this for a long time. You know, I always equate it to like, why would a painter want to paint the same thing over and over, or like a graphic designer drawing the same lines, the same thing? You know, this is all about keeping neural pathways going in my brain, just as like a thing, and uh, that I like to do, and also to, um, uh, you know, just keep things interesting in the soundtrack of life if it was, you know, like I gain inspiration in this visual society that we live in by, uh, and I try to create a soundtrack to it. And it should be constantly evolving like life is. So, there you go. So, in the honor of that, yes. can you play low sure. so that Bob Pistilli, who plays on synthesizer here, um, can say a little bit about your thoughts about music. About music. And what you do, and why you do it. Pretty much anything goes. Uh, uh, I once worked in a uh, steel fabrication plant, and uh, in order to deal with all the sound, I imagined it being uh, music. So there was the, uh, every once in a while, this bass, sound would come in, that, and that was a, a compressor that was compressing things and, and compressing uh, air, and they would use it to, to uh, was, they would use it to, to turn the, the tools, and the tools would go, and the compressor would go, and then there was these things that would go, and they would, uh, there were all kinds of things like that. They were wonderful, and, it, and I never walk around town listening to music. I walk around town listening to sound, and uh, it, that's music to me. So all the sounds that I hear work pretty well. Otherwise, uh, I, it's hard to play a tune for me. I can't play a tune. <laughs> Chord sequences, and well, yeah, they're nice. They're nice, but um, how would I do that much? Thanks, Bob. We want to join in quietly with uh, George and Steve. 
you want to describe what you play? And well, sure. There's squirrels in here. <laughs> it's um, all of you said, all the stuff you said about ambient sound and you know, is this music or not? It's it's sound, and we're happy, we're soaking in it, and. There's a lot going on here with people just listening, and those weird little filters we have in our head pull out a certain aspect of what we're hearing, and then you can respond to those and, and make other weird sounds. Uh, obviously, uh, this is kind of an amorphous device here. You can, you can find surprising things in it. Uh, Sometimes you try to do one thing and you end up doing something else. And it's okay because you can bend that around and make it work. At any rate, uh, I like playing with these guys because they're constantly surprising. And even when we get sort of stuck with something, it doesn't take long for that to fix itself. Because somebody else will just like come out of the left field and to change on it, and then it all makes sense. Like that. Michael! Um, this is uh, the other Bob, calling Bobby Violin, because he plays violin to distinguish from Bob Synthesizer. Um, do you want to say something about it? I'll speak as loud as you can. Thanks. He said that he likes to follow what's going on and play his own music, in case you didn't hear him. And I'm David Ford. Um, this is my place. This is where we meet on Tuesday nights to play music. Um, I actually feel like this is uh, a musical version of a dance workshop that I used to participate in for many years, in which people were allowed to express themselves and everybody was free to do that kind of thing. And uh, I like this because it's a way of connecting with people that isn't like conversation because only one person can talk at a time in conversation, but in this, we can all talk at the same time. And we can all listen at the same time. Thank you. 
Oh, okay. I was going to say something with him, actually. Okay. I remember you from so many years ago at the co-op. Oh, yeah, really? And I had a Volkswagen. Right, right. Yeah. No yeah. problem. No I missed that Volkswagen. Oh, my God, do I miss mine? Just rusted away. My, what? Just rusted away. <laughs>